If I were a ladybird by Bethan J. If I were a ladybird, I'd love to have a word about the way that I grow up. But you might think it absurd. I start life as a tiny egg, glued tight onto a leaf. So I and thirty more like me don't slip down underneath. I enjoy being eggy for a day or two or five. Then fancy there is more to life, my lumpy lava side. You have to be quite quick to hatch, because if you're too late, your brand new bros and sisters scoff the eggs left on the plate. We're not just any larvae, we've got six cute stubby legs, so we can waddle happily to feast on more than dregs. Our mummy laid us carefully where no beetle laid before, right by a pile of aphids that taste great, not cooked, but raw. I gobble and I wobble and I grow and shed my skin. Cause scoffing all these aphids means my body won't fit in. I make a few more bigger skins, extending all the time. I started out quite skinny, but I'm fattening up in rhyme. It's sad that ladybird larvae don't have recycling shops, cause our spotty, spiky costumes would be fun to switch and swap. My legs can move quite swiftly now, but soon it's time to stop and stick my bum onto a leaf before my last skin pops. This is the phase for peaceful thoughts, while my body, it pupates. My outside wrapper's shedding. We don't need exfoliates. Ooh, now I'm changing colour. I've become a pupa bag with body filling, snug and curled. My inside squish, no sag. I really enjoyed eating, but this hanging round's quite neat. It's cool that I've not fallen off, despite my lack of feet. Mind you, it's weird to feel your insides changing, squashing. Stretching round, I'm metamorphosizing, as strange as that might sound. A week or three of chilling out, but then my patience leaves. I've got to wriggle out of here, fulfil my beetle needs. I utch and squeeze, and shove, and butt, and there out pops my head. Hmm, it's different to the one I had when I last went to bed. I think it's me, but let me check before I wander round. Well, Take a look, I've got new clothes. A two-piece winged ball gown. Ooh, my neck and back are silky soft. 
hardening at quite a rate. Get this? I've got two folding wings covered with armour plate. My tints are going glossy and some spots start to appear. I'm feeling hmm, like a grown-up ladybird without a fear. My right bright colours fab for making birds etc think that I'm really something poisonous that's crawled out the kitchen sink. I've got a neck protector and can pull inside my head. My legs are short and tuck up quick for faking that I'm dead. If I'm really feeling frightened, a big spider's stalking by, my legs squirt yellow reflex blood that smells so bad, foes cry. Well, not all enemies are first, not swallows anyway. So, I eat up loads of aphids, just in case it's my last day. I munch my way through stacks of bugs that wreck your flowers and veg. So, humans love me. Let me be a gardening bond or pledge. However, Ants are not so pleased to see me trotting by, cause aphids make them nice sweet milk. I'll get a biff goodbye. I also quite like pollen. Sometimes nectar's good at lunch, so I've earned some pollinating stars, just happily slurping punch. A sucking tube I do not have, unlike a fly or bee. I chew my food, a member of the beetle family. My antennae, they are short and clubbed, but they smell and feel and taste. Plus with taste pads on my four clawed feet, no nosh will go to waste. My compound eyes are faceted, mosaic style I spy. But my sight's not really up to much, however hard I try. Flying is my funky thing. Could not do this before when I was just a larva. Now watch me. Hop and soar. First I lift my armoured wings, made like your nails, quite hard. Then left and right, fly wings unfold. Exquisite, cries the bard. It's really quite a show to watch, if only you've got time. The problem is, it's tricky to steer in a nice straight line. So, I often wait until a breeze presents itself. Then whiz! An inch or kilometres, like a bright red spotty fizz. Sometimes I land in water, where I'm quite a cool surf dude. I float or paddle back to shore. Don't say that I'm not shrewd. In the autumn, I look for a tree, a hibernating heap of ladybirds a dreaming of plump aphids in their sleep. My spots are fun for counting. 
the same number on both sides. But thankfully, they don't tell our age, or 22 spots would be surprised. If I miss being snapped up by a bird, or sprayed by pesticide, I'll live a year, or two, or three, though my spots fade and subside. Thousands of my cousins climb and twirl around the world. Red, black, yellow, orange, spotty, dotty, wings unfurled. It's time for me to flap goodbye. But my mirror image spots will be painted in your memory. Ladybirds, we love you lots. <laughs>